We do a lot of exploring and adventures, so when we decided it was time for a pet, we needed something that could keep up with our nomadic lifestyle. Deep in the African savanna, lurking throughout the dense brush, an African serval cat stalks its prey. The serval, a Portuguese word meaning wolf deer, not only has the largest ears of any other cat on the planet, but it has a 50% successful hunt to kill ratio, making it the most dangerous cat on the planet. Since we're not trying to get killed by a small cat, we got Cleo, the savanna cat. She's a second generation descendant of the African serval. your first time to a park. This is adventure kitty training. We're gonna go get some acai bowls first here. But we gotta get her ready for the redwoods. She's gotta be able to hunt down a bear. I mean, she pretty much hunted you down last night. Yeah. Can I show the laceration? I was just minding my own business, <laughs> sleeping. She decided to use my face as a launching pad to look out the window. <laughs> nice. One day she's super nice, gentle, snuggles with us all night. And then the next night, she is like attacking our face every 30 minutes. <laughs> she, like she's just being all sweet, like, oh, I wanna cuddle. Yeah, exactly. It's like comes out of nowhere. Oh. Oops, sorry, I did not mean to hit that. <laughs> oh my God. This is Cleo's first time out in public. I'm gonna take her out to go get some acai. Cleo, don't fall asleep. Time to go to the park. chilling on the bench. She's been a little scared on this first first trip, as to be expected. Cleo, do you see the little duckies out there? Cleo, look at the ducks. Your ancestors would have chopped those things right up. I don't think you have to dig too far for ancestors. I know. Your grandparents would have chopped those <laughs> things right up. Kitty's pooped out. That was a good day. She's the vibe cat. There we go, Zach. We go to the warehouse every day. We've been leaving Kitty up in our room because she's needed to get acclimated to her new home. Now, as you can see, Kitty's hopping up and she's eating little bits of Bonnie right now, which is no bueno. Cleo, get down. So then Cleo can have the whole house to herself while we're gone. Cleo, come on now, no, don't eat Bonnie. All of our house plants are gonna get destroyed if we leave. All these guys, they gotta go out to the sunroom. Cleo's been amazing so far. The only one thing is sometimes while we're sleeping, she's either a complete sweetheart or she's clawing our faces and trying to eat us at night. It's pretty even 50-50 split. We think that's partially because as a little kitty when we brought her home, our room was the place to play, it was the place to sleep, it was the place to eat. So she doesn't really have those boundaries. So when we're sleeping, she wants to play, so she comes and plays. Now that we're gonna kitty-proof the house, she's gonna be able to play, run, scratch, eat, poop wherever she wants. Well, poop, you gotta poop in the litter boxes, but she's got two of them now. Oh, speaking of which, she's in it. Good girl. Oh, well, she just put some of her poop on the floor. Thanks, Cleo. Thanks, baby. No, put the poo down. Cleo, don't eat the poop. Don't eat your poop. Drop the poo. So we're gonna be able to wake up and have chai time together. Are you ready for that, Cleo? Are you ready for chai time? Oh, I think so. 
So this has been Cleo's setup for the last couple weeks. But now I'm taking it down and bringing it downstairs. Leo, I don't know if you've realized this yet, but we all know who the real alpha female is in this house, and it ain't you, it's her. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cleo's not going out without a fight, though. She's like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to take the crown. You're getting so big, kitty cat. All right, time for your harness. See if you can do it. Solo mission, ballsy. Uh, we're gonna go down to the park. Angel and I are about to go on a cross country road trip here. And so we're trying to get Cleo as ready as possible for the harness because we're gonna take her on lots of hikes. We're going out to Glacier National Park again. Kitty's gotta be ready for those trails. Look at her, she's in her carrier. She has a harness on. Yeah, we didn't even tell her to do that. You're a good kitty. We're you know, that. you know when we put the harness on that it's adventure time. She loves adventure time. Oh, do you like adventure time? The more we keep her up during the day, uh, the more chill she is at night. And honestly, she's been snuggling with me every night for the last week. Cause I don't really move when I sleep. Angel's like, I'm like a zombie in a coffin. <laughs> so I just have my arm out like this usually and she'll just nestle up into it. She's a very, very good cat. Ready to go to the park? She hasn't really learned how to drink water yet. Mm -mm. She kind of just like, Splashes it around with her tongue. See, look, it sprays water everywhere. <laughs> but it's okay, you can get the Tacoma nice and dirty. You know why? Because you had a kitty cat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cleo, do you see the duckies? Cleo, your ancestors would mess up those ducks. Cleo's grandparents, the African serval, they actually had a 50% kill rate, which is, I think, the highest kill rate of any animal on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. Cleo, come on, show us what's in your DNA, mm -hmm. all right? Don't encourage that behavior. I'm just, I'm just out here. Oh, she sees them. She sees the duck. Cleo did so good, so we're gonna get her a little cat toy. Well, quote, cat toy. At this point, I think we're gonna have to upgrade to dog toys because she's been uh, destroying every cat toy we get her. This seems pretty durable right here. Oh, yeah. So whenever we go to the pet stores, we like her to pick what she's gonna get. No, she doesn't seem interested at all. <laughs> she hath chosen. <laughs> Nothing. Domingo? No interest. Ooh. <laughs> hey, say no more, Cleo. Say no more. Yeah. Yeah, she likes that one. Ooh. 